speak at, at colleges often, and when I speak at black colleges and I speak at white colleges, it's a slightly different message. The message that I preach to white kids um, that are in Tallahassee, that are in Atlanta, Georgia Tech, that are in places like New York, is get outside the college environment, find a child who is marginal or doing exceptional in school, who's a minority, who doesn't look like you, not of the same religion, not of the same background, Help that child matriculate into college. Help them by being a big brother or big sister. Help them by mentoring them. Don't give them gifts. Don't make yourself feel good. Like, hey, I gave them a new pair of sneakers. Teach them the path you were taught to help them become a successful human being. What you're going to get out of that experience is another human being that's taking full advantage of an educational system that can help them in their community. But more than that, it grows you as a human being to have empathy and apathy for someone who doesn't look like you is culturally not from your head. What a great message yeah. is this not when we st when we were talking earlier today were we not talking about you know the church mm -hmm. and getting outside the walls mm -hmm. of the church and serving it's exactly what i was talking about when yeah. i heard that man that gave me chills that's exactly what we should be doing yes you know if you want to change the world uh if you want a better world you got to get off your lazy ass and get out there and mentor yep. and and get out there and serve other people. What a great message that is. And that just goes that goes across all lines. He's spot on. You want to change the community? You want to you want a better community? You want a better um, you know, uh future for your kids? Then serve, you know? And then, you know, and I tell my kids all the time, right? My kids are adopted. So I always tell them you need to make sure that adoption is in your future. Even if you have your own kids, Find one kid and bring them into your home. Adopt them. You know what I'm saying? It's a great, you know, it's a great message I give my kids that. So this guy's spot on, man. You just, we encourage those, our kids say, listen, when you get a chance, uh, you make sure you turn around and you help the next guy. Just that alone. Let's just make that the message. Turn around and help the guy behind you, right? And that guy turn around and help the guy behind them. And if we just get that community message out there, it's a different world. It's a complete, all the problems that we have, most of them go away. Mm -hmm. When we start serving, instead of bickering and fighting and, and protesting and all that stuff, if we, and again, we talk about the church, but this guy just in, in the education system, he's saying just when you're done, um, don't just go on to your job. You find someone, you mentor them, and you teach them how you did it. And you help them avoid the pitfalls, um, and you encourage them all the way till they graduate. Right? Mm -hmm. You've you've left an impression on a young man or woman who will never forget you. Mm -hmm. And the lessons you've taught them, the love that you've shot, you've taught them, and showed it it'll be with them forever. Mm -hmm. It's it's and it's it'll never leave them. Yeah. And so you want to change the world, then um, then get off social media, and. Find a, a young person that needs your your help um, and um, could use your guidance. And and you don't have to be even college educated. Mm -hmm. That's, I'm, you're a carpenter, right? You know, I'm saying if you could just, if you have a shop at home and you could teach someone some carpentry, I mean, or you're a welder or whatever, and you're exposing them to something like, because college is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Imagine if you mentored a young 13 year old that's just out in the street, right? Just always, you know, um, maybe it's a kid who always finds himself in trouble. Give him, put something in his hands. Yeah. Think, right? Idle hands, right? Yep. So if we put something in his hands, think about how different your life would be if you found your passion for, you know, and I, I for you, I'll say, you know, your dad showed you your passion early with video and, and movies that, you know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. By the way, I found Dietrich. No shit. I have the video. I have it out. Yeah. We got to play that. But listen, but imagine, you know, how benefit how beneficial your life is that you were exposed to stuff early on that you're good at. Mm -hmm. So if we're if we're finding that thirteen year old and you're just teaching them, you know, how to be a welder or carpentry or, you know, electrician and you're just there. I mean, most thirteen, fourteen year old, you know, uh boys, again, that's who I coach, um, if you just show interest and care about them, they're gonna follow. Yeah. It's very simple. And so that's the world that we need to live in where we just said that guy this i heard this message i'm like that's what i'm talking about and that's what the church should be but that's not the church you know the church is come and give me your money listen to what i have to say check out yeah that's it that's the church today and so the world changes when we get outside the walls and we start um giving uh our assistance to others yeah. and and service of not ourselves 
but a better a better community. And so we're talking about the church, so it's about furthering God's you know um, church. But put the church aside, that message rings true. And so even if you don't want to do it for the church, just do it for the community. We all win, 100%. Help them by being a big brother, big sister. Help them by mentoring them. Don't give them gifts. Don't make yourself feel good. Like, hey, I gave them a new pair of sneakers. Teach them the path you were taught to help them become a successful human being. What you're going to get out of that experience is another human being that's taking full advantage of an educational system that can help them in their community. But more than that, it grows you as a human being to have empathy and apathy for someone who doesn't look like you is culturally not from your head. It's a different world. It's a different world when you start to when you start to realize that who and what did you serve today? Ask yourself that. It's a very simple question. Who and what did you serve today? Mm -hmm. And if the answer is I serve myself, and I'm not talking about serving your wife, you know, I'm not talking about bringing her coffee. I'm talking about outside the walls. So what did, when you left your house today, who did you serve and what did you serve? Yeah. And you ask yourself that question, and if the answer is nothing, then you're the problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. That's it. It's that simple. And I don't care what anybody says. Let's try to get someone on that can say otherwise. But service to others always multiplies. Yeah. So. All right. Great show today. Yeah. Good job.